should have known a bitch was going to be orange because look at the top. Orange as hell. Hey ninjas, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hawa Bunker. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and become a ninja. Join the gang, honey. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Beauty Bay haul. It's kind of like Sephora and Ulta Beauty, but this company right now is only in the UK and you only could order online. I live in the US, so... I only could order online. I don't know. I'm not sure if they have a store in the UK. I haven't heard too much people using or ordering from them. But if you keep on watching, I'll tell you why you should order from Beauty Bay. Sis, it's lit over here in Beauty Bay world, okay? <laughs> so definitely stay tuned. Keep on watching. Let's get into this video. Okay, guys, so like I said before, Beauty Bay is a company um, kind of like Sephora and Ulta Beauty. They sell any anything from hair, makeup products. The thing I really like about Beauty Bay is prices are way cheaper than compared to, you know, if you were to buy the same products at Sephora or if you were to buy the same products at Ulta Beauty or on the actual site. Like, Anastasia Beverly Hills, if I was going to go to the actual site, then it'll cost some more money for a lot of the products. Not all, but a lot of them. Because I've been looking into Beauty Bay for a while before I decided to order from them. My best friend actually was like, hey, you should check out Beauty Bay. Um, I've ordered some products from them. And I was like, sis, like, send me the link, honey. My package came like this. And just like Sephora, Ulta Beauty, Beauty Bay have their own products. So I did get some of their products. Um, I'm just going to go through all of the products that I've received, that I bought, how much they cost, and all of that. I do want to let you know that I did use some of the products on my face for this look. I did another makeup look for another video, and I did use some of the products that I got. Let's get to it. I have my receipt on my phone. Should I order? Yeah, let's start with foundation. Wama. Is that how you say it? Wama. A foundation um i actually haven't heard of this brand before so i don't know if this is a uk brand or what it's a weightless soft matte hydrating foundation i did get the color and brown sugar um again i was ordering online so i didn't really know i didn't use this foundation on my skin today because i used it before and it was matte orange like bitch i was looking out like trump out here it was matte orange but the packaging is beautiful it's a very oh bitch <laughs> it's a very high quality in my opinion should have known a bitch was gonna be orange because look at the top orange as hell so yeah it's a very or it was very orangey on me but i actually liked the product like i liked how it blended in it blended in very well i'm going to see if there's a thing if um there's something on the site where you could return it and get another color i haven't tried that yet but this foundation was 33 dollars um that's about standard price so the next up product that I did pick up was this Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer in 22 Dark. Um, it's the 50 gram. I got one. The packaging looked like this. It's just like typical dose of color. This is it outside of the packaging. And this concealer was $24. I'm not sure if this is the retail price or not because this is my, actually my first time buying Dose of Colors. But if it's a difference, I'll put it on the screen so that you can see. This is my first time buying Dose of Colors concealer. They sell Dose of Colors, so that's lit. The next thing I got was this Anastasia Beverly, mm, Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini Loose Setting Power and Translucent. Kind of reflecting off my lights. But this is the packaging they came in. It's a mini. This powder was $19. I don't know what the retail price is, but again, um, all of the retail present from either the website or like sephora or whatever i'll put on the screen so we could compare fyi i also did use the setting powder on my face as well and i really like it like i love it this is my first time using it and i love it so definitely get you some i'm gonna link all of the products below by the way period i got y'all the next thing i got was the anastasia beverly hills brow basic brow kit in dark brown 
um so this came with i should have got ebony because that's what i typically use on my eyebrows but i did use this on my eyebrow for this makeup look it comes with the brow gel and the brow pencil and they have multiple ones so i got the um i got the clear brow gel but you can get the color brow gel it looks like this outside of the packaging this was $27 and y'all know the brow pencil is $27 by itself. So I think that's a good steal that you get the brow gel and you get the pencil. But I dig that. You feel me? So we're going to move on. I'm going to show you what I got. That was Beauty Bay. I did get the Beauty Bay powder bronzer and cinnamon. The packaging looked like this. Boom, bam. Outside packaging looked like this. I also did use this bronzer on my face in combination with the Fenty Beauty one. So I used both on the look that I have on right now. This bronzer was $4.20. Yes, $4.20 and it's fire. Girl, can't get better than that. So my next Beauty Bay purchase was um, an actual palette their palettes are fire like they're bomb they're cheap you can get different types different kinds and they're like inexpensive um the one that i got i did use on my eye look and i've used it multiple times since i've gotten it and i love it the box looks like this i did get the 16 color palette fiery fairy and it looks like this the palette it's a bunch of like nudes and reds and orange. It's very fiery, like like, like it says. And this palette it has 16 colors in it and it was $10, like $10. It kind of reminds me of Morphe, like Morphe palettes, but it's way more pigmented and it seemed like it lasts longer. Like Morphe for me, it seems like after a while, it like wears off. Like, I love it. Good job, Beauty Bay. Y'all, uh, I'm having a bad filming day. Like, two of my favorite things that I got from the haul, and they're actually lip colors from Dose of Colors. First, I got two. Um, the two that I got was Truffle, Truffle and Cold Shoulder. I'm actually wearing Truffle on my lip right now. And this is Cold Shoulder. That's the packaging. It's a pretty purple color. This is truffle. These were $18 each. And the last two things that I got were lip liners. The first lip liner that I'm going to show you is actually from Beauty Bay. I actually use wearing the lip liner right now. The packaging looked like this. And this is in the shade vintage and this is how it looks the actual pencil for my lip combination that i have on right now i use these two fire right i don't know where the box is for this next lip liner but i got the la girl um intense stay lip liner in the color what's this color endure moive 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 so the LA Girl one that looks like this was $7 and the Beauty Bay one was $5. Um, so I got 10 things and I spent $165. Shipping was free and let me tell you shipping was awesome. I love when I order makeup and I get the package like really quickly. So that is a plus for me like even if this makeup came out trash i would still give them a good review because at least they were on point with shipping and that's it for this quick beauty bay haul i really hope you enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up if you did if you didn't don't tell me i'm good subscribe hit the button right now and become a ninja i really appreciate it i really appreciate you all watching this video and i'll catch you all in my next one bye